Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I would like to show you how to compare two periods of time in Tableau. So we have two ways of doing that. The first way is to compare per year and the second way is to compare by a custom period of your choice. As usual, I will put timestamps in the description box below. So feel free to skip to the second way of comparing and we're gonna start with comparing by year. So let's say we have sales, let me bring it to road, right? Uh, we want to break this down by year. So let me first make it this way. So we have our measure and then we're gonna bring in order date. Okay, and instead of seeing it by year, I want to have this by month. Here we are, this is quarter. Of course, another way to do this would be just to, let me show you the other way. I right click here and I'm going to choose discrete month, which is the first set of dates. All right, so what are we looking at right now? now right now we have our sales measure and we have month on our X axis. So here we have all of our months. So if we have 10 years, all of the Januarys of the last 10 years are summed up here and our sales are 24,000 and so on and so forth. So all the aggregated years, but here we're seeing them by month. This is useful when you want to look at seasonality. For instance, we see that for the superstore company, they sell the most towards the end of the year, especially in November. All right, so there's a very easy way to break this down and that's simply to bring order date color. Here we are, that's as simple as that. So we have our measure on our x-axis or our rows, we have our discrete month on our columns, broken down by color on year. So now we have here our highlighter, all right? So let's say we just want to see two years because it's we're just interested in 2020 and 2021. I'm going to bring in a order date filter and I'm going to select years and unclick these two and here we are. Now let's have a look at our second case which is how to compare custom periods. Now let's say you have a specific use case in mind. For instance, you want to compare sales before and after the pandemic hit. So in that case you wouldn't be satisfied with using Tableau's predetermined um, time dimension. So years wouldn't cut it for you. You would like to see all the sales before, let's say March 2020 and after, right? Maybe you are an online uh, shop or a delivery company or a physical shop and you want to see how the pandemic exactly affected you. So how can you do that? Let's do that together. What you're going to need is to create two calculated fields and then to leverage dual axis graphs. So we're going to create the first calculated field and we're going to call it before pandemic. Before pandemic. All right. And now we are going to create an if statement, if then statement. So if, if the order date is less than the 1st of March 2020, then return sales. So this calculation will only return sales if the date is earlier than the 1st of March 2020. We're going to create a second calculated field similar to the first and call it after pandemic or during pandemic that says if the date, in this case it's order date, is bigger or equal to 1st of March 2020, then return sales. So this second field will only return sales for dates that are bigger than the 1st of March 2020. 
All right, now what should we do? We can go ahead and drag order date to columns and then drag before and after pandemic. What we created here is not dates. What we created here is measures. So what these two fields return is sales, right? It's just that we return sales for a specific period of time. So we are going to turn this into a dual axis chart. And as you see, if we just leave year of order date, we have 2018, 2019, and the beginning of 2020 in blue. And then we have 2020 and 2021 in orange. Now, how do we want to treat this? If we want to compare again, I would suggest, after we turn it into the entire view, and of course, after we synchronize the axis right here, oop, synchronize axis, there we go. I would suggest turning this uh, date field into a discrete month. Here we are. So now we can compare our sales before and after the pandemic. So what are we looking at here? Again, we are aggregating all the months in blue before the pandemic. So all the Januarys, all the sales of all the Januarys before the pandemic and those after the pandemic, right? So it's broken down by these two periods. And that's how you compare to arbitrary periods of time. Just to clean this up, I would hide one of the two headers. You don't need two of them. And of course, here I would edit the axis. So I would either delete this or before versus after something like that. Before versus we call it during the pandemic. Or you can just double click and get rid of that. And we're going to call it here before versus during pandemic and now you know how to compare two periods of time in Tableau. Thank you everyone for watching and see you in the next video.